Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here well, on a pretty nice Wednesday morning. It actually wasn't as gross humid out when I walked out of the hotel as I expected it to be, but it's going to get pretty blazing hot up in this area, in the D.C. area. Right now it's 82. I just finished my breakfast and had a rather spicy dish, so my nose has been dripping and my tongue is on fire, but it was pretty good. Okay, I already had my meetings for today. And, and then I went to have breakfast before I drive home. Now um, I'm all full and ready for my three plus hour drive back to Virginia Beach. Now, technically it shouldn't be that bad and I should be getting home long before there's any serious traffic buildup, but we all know how that works. Real quick about the whole healthy lifestyle thing. Definitely this week, I have gone off keto. Like I said, I'm not gonna st I'm not gonna be strict to keto. It served its purpose. I will say this though, as I've added foods that I wasn't eating back into the diet, I'm feeling the negative effects from them. Number one, like this breakfast that I just had, it was filled with potatoes, cut up potatoes. I at least got them to not put the cheese in. I am still trying to be good about the dairy, but I did have the potato and last night at dinner, I had a baked potato as well. I feel like a freaking bloated carcass. And I feel like that every time I eat like a starchy, carbo -y type food, in the interest of not feeling like a fat bloated carcass, I'm not gonna be eating potatoes anymore. Certainly not as much as I have been. The other thing is the amount of phlegm that I'm <coughs> continually coughing up after eating all that stuff. A lot of that has to do with the sodium. I'm sure that what I ate for breakfast had a lot of sodium definitely tasted like it. And I can't tell them don't put sodium in it. So, you know, you just kind of have to deal with it. But all this is just to go to tell you that, all right, I know that I've, I went hardcore keto and lost 13 pounds and felt great and had energy and didn't have a lot of phlegm and didn't feel like a fat bloated carcass. But I decided that I wanted to bring some of that stuff back in, but I wanted to bring it back in occasionally. So I have definitely found that when I don't eat we'll just say keto, I don't feel as well. And I miss that feeling of not feeling horrible after I eat. It's not worth it for what I'm eating. You know, for the few minutes of joy that I'm getting from eating whatever it is, like the potatoes or, or you know, the waffle or, or whatever, it's not worth how I feel afterwards. I still, like, I just don't feel as good. So I'm not gonna be doing that shit all the time now. And enough about that. All right, that's enough. I'm gonna drive now. If I have anything exciting come up, I'll show you. Back in the beach, just about to the UPS store, my usual ritual when I come back into town, before the tunnel, at like two o'clock, I still had traffic, bumper to bumper, barely moving traffic. I'm telling you, there's just absolutely no time that you can go through that tunnel and not have traffic. It's absolutely maddening. So I know for sure that the ram mount stuff that I got to replace this shit for mounting my phones in the car came in yesterday. So I've got that. I'm just gonna have to figure out how extensive of an operation I wanna get into with mounting the one thing up here on the dashboard. Because if I put it up there in all likelihood, because it's heavy, I'm gonna have to bolt them into part of the dash. I also got notification and I completely sort of forgot about it, but uh, the two vent motor thingies that I got to try to push the air or pull the air, however you wanna put it, to make it colder in my freaking office. I shouldn't say colder, to make it cool at all. Those were delivered to the Home Depot. So I'm gonna have to go pick those up. Don't know that I'm gonna do that today. More than likely I'll do it tomorrow because I got shit to do today. And also, I will say that I did put myself on a list at B&H Photo for the Sony ECM -B B1M microphone. It's the one that, that uh, you can plug into the hot, like slide into the hot shoe and then it's powered through the camera and all that kind of stuff. Great reviews. It got, you know, I think it's exactly what I want because it'll work, number one, and I don't have to power it. I don't have to put batteries, I don't have to charge it or any of that shit, and it actually sounds pretty good. I mean, I know Peter Lindgren uses it almost exclusively, and his stuff sounds fine. Yesterday, I started noticing videos for the B10, and that is the newest one, and hopefully they'll be available, because right now, you cannot find a B1M anywhere. Every site that possibly sells equipment has been on back order or not in stock, for at least five months. If I can't find a B1M that in August, because I'd have to wait until August for the B1, or I mean the B10 to become available, and 
you know, I'll have to wait until then. But all right, I'm going to go get some packages. Okay, kids, going to have to finish this one up quick again as this drained again. This freaking thing is maddening. It is not holding battery power at all. So I'm pretty much going to be done with it. I'm in search of a Sony ECM B1M microphone because I think that's going to be a perfect solution for me because clearly these Rode Wireless Go's are just dying way the hell too fast and I'm kind of over it. So, all right, I actually took out the Zune Smooth Q4 with my S22 Ultra as I went for a walk because I've been in my Forerunner all day. So I went out and I filmed like over a half an hour worth of stuff and that'll be tomorrow's video. This is all you get for now. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.